Hey guys, happy Molecule Monday. Today we're going to be talking about satirical alcohol. And you've probably seen this as an ingredient on some of your makeup or hair care products. And it might have taken you aback because you think that all alcohols are drying to the skin or drying to the hair. But actually there are two different types of alcohols that are important to distinguish between in skin care and also hair care. And these are fatty alcohols versus solvent alcohols. So satirical alcohol is actually a fatty alcohol and it is actually a blend of two fatty alcohols. It's a blend of subtle alcohol and sterile alcohol. These alcohols are actually emollients. They're actually great for smoothing out the skin, moisturizing and conditioning the skin and hair. So these alcohols are lipid or fat soluble. And so the difference between these fatty alcohols versus solvent alcohols such as ethyl alcohols, such as isopropyl alcohol, ethanol, those, the solvent alcohols are very volatile. So what happens is if you apply that to your skin or hair, they will evaporate very readily and it will also, they are water soluble. So what happens is it evaporates readily and also takes water with it. So you have a lot of trans epidermal water loss or loss of water from your outermost layer of your skin. So if you see any alcohol as an ingredient on your skincare or hair care products and you're concerned, you are right in that the solvent alcohols or these ethyl alcohols are very volatile. They do cause water loss and they will dry out your skin and hair. However, these fatty alcohols such as satirical alcohol, cetyl alcohol, I'll put a whole list up here of the fatty alcohols for you. The most common that I've seen in makeup and skincare and hair care products is satirical alcohol and cetyl alcohol. But again, I'll have the list up here for you of all the fatty alcohols. These are actually quite the opposite of that. They are very moisturizing. They're considered emollients. Really great for conditioning the skin, moisturizing the skin, and also another characteristic of these fatty alcohols is that they actually are emulsifiers. So they're gonna help keep the product together. So in a product, you're gonna have water soluble compounds and fat or lipid soluble compounds. And these fatty alcohols help to bind these together so that it doesn't separate. So you have a very smooth product that is easy to apply and works well with your skin or hair. So you might be wondering, since the ethyl alcohols and fatty alcohols have such different characteristics as far as being conditioning for the skin versus drying for the skin, why are they still both called alcohols? Why do they still fall under the same category? Why do they both fall under the category of alcohol? So us chemists assign different functional groups to different parts of a molecule so that we can know how that particular region of a molecule will interact with other compounds, for example. So the functional group alcohol means that there's a hydroxyl group attached to a carbon, and a hydroxyl group is an oxygen bound to a hydrogen. And so alcohols can form hydrogen bonds. So the reason that ethanol, for example, is so different than satirical alcohol is that ethanol is a very small molecule, a very small alcohol. It's very volatile, and it's not well, it, it's very water soluble. It forms hydrogen bonds readily, and it's a very small molecule that evaporates very readily, and so that is why it dries out your skin, because it is water soluble, and when ethanol evaporates off your skin, it takes water along with it, increasing transepidermal water loss, which means evaporation of water from your skin. Whereas with satirical alcohol and other fatty alcohols, they have a long alkyl chain of, carbogen, of carbons and hydrogens. It's a very long chain of these carbons and hydrogens attached to the alcohol. And this causes it to, this causes it to be very lipophilic, which means that it's soluble in fats and lipids. And, but, however, it still has that hydrogen bond capability, so that's why it makes such a great emulsifier because it has a portion that's very fat soluble and it also has the portion that can make hydrogen bonds with water. So that's why it makes such a great emulsifier and it is also not very volatile like ethanol, so it's not going to evaporate off the skin and cause dryness for the skin or hair. So you might also see it listed as other names, so some other names I'll have on the screen. It'll either, it can say C16 to C18 alkyl alcohol, 
or it can say alcohol C1618. So if you see C1618 alcohol listed as an ingredient, that is satiral alcohol. Um, I'll put up, and there are also some other uh, common names for it, so I'll have that on the screen here for you. And according to the FDA, this product is allowed in products that are labeled alcohol-free. So again, you might see products that are labeled alcohol-free, but you'll see these fatty alcohols or lipid-soluble alcohols listed on there. And I know that might seem confusing at first. If a product says alcohol-free, it really means it's free of these solvent alcohols, such as the ethyl alcohols that I mentioned earlier. But a product can say alcohol-free and still contain satiral alcohol or other fatty alcohols. And also, the Cosmetic Ingredient Review Expert Panel concluded that fatty alcohols, including satiral alcohol, are safe for use in cosmetic products. And in clinical studies, satiral alcohol was found to have no toxicity, was found to have no significant toxicity, and was also non-mutagenic. Mutagenic, uh, so a mutagen is a chemical agent that changes your DNA, for example, in diseases such as cancer. So again, clinical studies showed that satiral alcohol and other fatty alcohols are non-mutagenic. And it's also considered safe by the FDA. It is an FDA-improved ingredient for cosmetics. It is possible that there have been some studies that show that select few individuals can have um, allergy or contact dermatitis. So um, that is possible with any ingredient, any skincare or makeup ingredient you can. It is possible to have an allergy to, so that's just something to be aware of. So if you do have sensitive skin or if you have had allergies to products, it's a good idea to see a dermatologist and get a it's a good idea to see a dermatologist and have patch testing done so that you can determine what ingredients are ca causing um, allergic reactions for you so that you can avoid those ingredients. So I personally think that satirical alcohol and other fatty alcohols are excellent ingredients in hair care and cosmetic products because Again, they are great emollients and they also help bind the product together to prevent the separation of the fat-soluble compounds and the water-soluble compounds so that you have a nice, smooth consistency of the product that you're applying. So, actually, one of my favorite hair care brands, which is Briogeo, has subtle alcohol and satirical alcohol. And I've seen a lot of people voice concern over that, but again, these are the fatty alcohols that are emollients, they're gonna be conditioning for the hair. I actually have been testing out the Briogeo hair products, and I'm gonna be making a review um, talking about various products that I've tried from this brand over the past few months. So if you have any particular questions about the hair care products that you'd like me to address, please let me know in the comments down below. But I have tried these. Uh, I've had I've tried various products from this brand for the past few months, and I'm going to be putting together a review of the, all these products for you guys. And I'd like to answer as many questions as you have, so please let me know any questions that you have about that. I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.